Hi everyone, Stacy here back after uh, what maybe a six month hiatus of shooting videos. Uh, so in this one I just wanted to basically give you guys an update of what I've been up to and um, you know say hi to those that are now following me. Um, you'll you'll notice I do fix my hair every, every so often because you guys are the perfect mirror. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm back in Indiana, uh, back in Fort Wayne, um, in my new digs, my new house. I'm noticing an echo with my voice, so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it doesn't translate through the video, um, because I'm not sure how to fix that part. Added some more lighting, um, and this part where I'm shooting is, um, a bit darker. I don't have any natural light coming in, like my old basement in North Dakota. So yeah, I moved from... Uh, North Dakota, western edge of North Dakota, like, in the prairie. <laughs> Back to Fort Wayne, Indiana, which I consider my hometown, uh, my adopted hometown. Um, my husband and my oldest son are from here. I um, uh, lived here, like, at least six years, I think, uh, before my husband's job took us all across the country. So we've been in California been in DC and we ended up in North Dakota and now we're back home in Fort Wayne. Um, I am actually just miles away from Vera Bradley. <laughs> yeah! So temptation is right there. I'm not talking about just the store because the store is actually a little bit closer. I'm talking about the headquarters. Um, I could be there in probably seven minutes. If that, my neighbor actually works for Vera Bradley, so uh, but I'll tell you more about that in a second. Okay, let me give you a timeline here. All right, so we had our house for sale in uh, the winter in North Dakota, which you can imagine is a very hard time to sell a house. <laughs> um, a timeline was not up to us. My husband got his uh, transfer orders in September. We were totally shocked. We did not see that coming, and um, got hurried up, finished up the house because we did buy a fixer upper, which I absolutely love that house. Um, bought a fixer upper, finished up. Um, for those who are friends with me on Facebook, you've seen the updates that I did. I mean, several people are like, man, you guys were always doing something with that house. <laughs> yes, we were, um, but it was a beautiful home. And we had it for sale, and um, try not to get too technical here, but basically with the way it works with my husband's company is that they want you to do a quick exit. So they work with a relocation company to um, help sell your home, help get it ready. Um, if you don't have a buyer within like three months, I believe it is, um, they'll buy it from you. But if you do have a buyer, you get a bonus. Yay, bonus. Um, so we had lots of showings, um, no real bites, no real offers. Uh, our deadline was the end of January. Um, we were going to have to accept the relocation company's offer, um, which was almost break even for us. We knew we would be taking a hit on our house. Um, we bought in the height of the oil boom, because that's when we moved there. Rent was $4,000 a month for a family of our size and I'm not talking like a major house here I'm talking about like an apartment like enough bedrooms for us uh, It would have been $4,000 a month. So it was actually cheaper to buy us buy a home and lose some money on the back end where, <laughs> Rather than losing more money on on the front um, So hence why knowing we were going to be there for three years um, we bought a home um, the home we bought was right across from a college. We thought with the oil boom, you know, eventually going to be going down, um, maybe that will help us um, sell the house uh, with the location of it. Um, two or three weeks before we sold the house, uh, uh, had um, a friend come and see the home uh, with her realtor. Um, they loved it. They toured it several times. Um, once uh, they were in the house for two, three hours, and we sat in the parking lot across the street waiting for them to be done. We couldn't go anywhere because my youngest was sick with a fever. And so he slept the whole time, and he and I just hung out there, and um, it was kind of crazy. And I really thought she was going to... Uh, by the home, like I said, she's one of her visits, she, she was in there for three hours. She brought her family to see it. Um, that was a sure thing. 
week later, which was about a week left to go or so into our timeline, we get their offer. It's $40,000 below asking price. Yeah, that's a hard pass. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I don't care if you're my best friend in the world. I'm not going to go into debt for a very long time because of you. <laughs> no, no. So it was very disappointing. Um, they gave a long list of why the house was not worth what we listed it for. And that was insulting on, st on top of the disappointing offer. And so we had the offer from the relocation company. Send that back to him and said, hey, this is what we're getting from a relocation company. You match that, it's yours. You know, this is your house. Um, in the meantime, that was all happening. Uh, didn't have the greatest of realtors in North Dakota, um, but it is what it is. And um, it was uh, President's Day, I believe, because uh, my husband was home. He had the day off. And... <laughs> We had people show up at the house. We had no idea. We were lounging in our PJs. It was around 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, they come up to the step. You know, it's snowing. It's cold. There's tons of snow on the ground. And um, my husband answers the door. Um, I was actually in the middle of washing my face. <laughs> and um, uh, they were like, oh, we were here to see the house, but there must have been a mix-up. We'll come back later. He's like, no, 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 no. Come on in, come on in. You guys start in the basement. We'll, you know, make ourselves presentable. We can leave if you if you need us to. They're like, no, with all the snow and everything, please stay. Um, so they started in the basement. <laughs> we hurried up and got uh, ourselves dressed. Kids, they stayed in their PJs. Um, and uh, let them see the house. They walked through. We stayed out of their way. Well, we ended up talking to the couple for like 40 minutes in our kitchen. Uh, with their realtor present and um, it was a perfect fit. An older couple, they actually go to a lot of the events at the college. They wanted a place where they could just walk across the street instead of driving. Um, they actually wanted a bigger home than what they had uh, for their grandkids so that they could come stay with them. And so it was a perfect fit. He asked my husband, you know, the, the buyer asked my husband, what's your bottom line? What do, you, what do you need to get out of this house? And so we showed him the relocation offer. Like, this is it. This is what we're getting. And we're, we have to accept this next week. Um, <laughs> he's like, okay. They shook. Feeling pretty good. You know, he was a car salesman. And he was, he was straightforward. Well, it turns out his wife worked at one of the local banks. And so they went back, called the president of the bank on the day off. And said, can we make this work? Because originally they were contingent on selling their home which was paid off, so it wasn't a huge deal. But we couldn't accept any contingencies uh, with our reloca relocation company. And so he waived the contingency, they worked up a deal. I'm sure they've already sold their home by now. Um, it was in good shape, it was okay location. Um, but I, I'm sure it's sold, I'm sure I can find out on realtor.com. <laughs> but that's been my savior app for the last six months. Um, so anyway, um, they put an offer, a thousand dollars over our uh, relocation offer because they wanted our washer and dryer. So upset at the time to lose my washer, um, my dryer I could care less about. Um, we had had to replace it about a year ago. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Washer I loved. That's okay. So that washer and dryer uh, I had in the video where I showed you how to get gum out of a Vera Bradley throw. Yeah, that stayed with the house. So um, we sold the house with days to go before we had to sell to the relocation company. That all went smoothly. We had already done an inspection, very thorough inspection, very expensive inspection. <laughs> so the house is in tip-top shape. Uh, they waived any second inspections um, because, bam, there you go. Everything was right there. Here you go. This house is, is rock solid. You're, it's moving ready. Um, and so we moved. We stayed a couple days in North Dakota. Uh, in the town we lived in, um, so my son could finish out and my daughter could finish the school week, which I still really miss that school. Um, and we made our way to Indiana. It was a fairly smooth drive. I had the van with three kids who constantly had movies, so I had Spotify going <laughs> for my sanity. And I followed my husband all the way to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We were like, okay, hard part's over, you know. 
got our stuff moved, got our stuff that we need. We're crammed in this little house. Uh, it was about 1,300 square feet. So it's great space for my in-laws, but for seven people total, <laughs> we were cramped. Um, shared a room with my youngest, but most often all three kids climbed into my bed. My husband slept in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the foot of the bed, all three kids at the front, you know, and um, so there was no way to shoot videos. I wanted to. I brought all my equipment. Well, I thought I did. I'll get to that in a second. Um, I brought my, my stuff to shoot, and unfortunately, um, my husband's grandmother, uh, she was 91 at the time, 92, she turned 92 in May. She was not doing very well, so she needed constant care. Um, she wasn't in a nursing home. She, she was a next-door neighbor uh, to my in-laws, and um, she had 12 uh, children, and the daughters took turns taking care of her. And with my mother-in-law being so close and available during the day, she was one of the main caretakers. Um, and my, my father-in-law, I love him dearly. <laughs> he helped what he could, but he, he couldn't watch all three kids. Um, by himself um, during the day I was driving three three and a half hours a day to get my kids to school um, my my in-laws live in a very rough school district um, and so I we sent them to another school um, that was on the north side of Fort Wayne to finish out the year um, we didn't have a mortgage we could afford a private school <laughs> an expensive private school um, and we did that, and so I was driving a lot, um, the house was so small, I, I, there was no way I could shoot videos and, um, not be distracted. There's no way I could get everybody out of the house either. Um, so this is disappointing, um, I was very busy, we were looking at homes. Turns out the Fort Wayne housing market had become the, gosh, the, like the 19th hottest market in the U.S., it was... Southern California standards, which if you live in Southern California, you know how crazy that housing market constantly is. Uh, of course, we lived there for four years, so we are very much aware, well aware of it. Um, we had a rental home uh, for two years, and uh, we were constantly getting letters stuck in our door. Say, hey, if you're going to you know, put your house on the market, let us know. We're trying to buy in this area. Um, our, our neighbor's house sold in record time for like six, seven hundred thousand dollars, and we're talking like fifteen hundred square foot homes, um, nothing fancy. So um, price wise, yes, Fort Wayne prices have gone up. I'm talking about timing. Like if you saw a house right then and there, you need to make your offer um, because it was going to be gone. Um, so we thought we were going to have a peaceful time looking at homes, be able to take our time and figure this out. <laughs> that wasn't the case. Thank God. Um, Joe, my husband's family, um, could uh, watch our kids at a drop of a hat um, so we could go look at a house. Um, you know, it, we were very thankful for that. Very thankful for extended family for helping us. <laughs> Trying to find a house. Uh, put in an offer twice on one house. Um, and that was actually a couple of uh, streets down from here. So I really like this neighborhood. Um, and then another home we actually saw... Um, before it was put on the market, made a full price offer. Their realtor, him, hauled us around. I was like, oh, wait, I can't get in touch with them yet. Uh, by the end of the day, oh, I got in touch with them. Oh, look, we have two more offers. And so between us, another one, we were already at the top dollar. The house was already priced the highest in the neighborhood. We took off the washer and dryer that we asked for, um, stuck with our offer, and gave them a letter and sent them pictures of our home, you know, not our home, of our family saying why this is the perfect house for us, and uh, came back, well, they wanted to go with you because they liked you the most, but financially, the other offer was a much higher than yours. So this other offer, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 more than what we did, more than asking price, we're out. It was still in our price range to do that. Financially, it didn't make sense, obviously. So we're still looking at homes. I'm getting desperate because there's not many houses on the market at the time, and, um, I convinced my husband to go see a three-bedroom home that had a loft that could potentially be turned into a fourth bedroom. He's like, no, uh-uh. Yeah, I was, I was agreeing with him. It was <laughs> not the fit for us. So he convinced me to see this house. Um, I was very much against having any uh, water around the house. Very scared of that. Um, there's actually a large pond in the back and a uh, great neighborhood. Love the neighborhood. Um, other than that, it fit our needs. 
no interior balconies, no catwalks. I, I can't do that. I have a desperate fear of my children falling over um, those. I had a bad dream about that happening um, 10, 15 years ago with my little sister. <laughs> and ever since, I can't, I can't do it. They just, ugh, I clam up. So I couldn't comfortably live in a home like that. Um, the other thing I didn't quite care for, but I'm used to now, is that our bedroom's on the first floor, the kids are on the second floor. Um, turns out to be a-okay, not an issue. Pond, um, they love it, but they also respect our rules. Um, they're not allowed outside without a, a parent, so, or an, an adult. So, anyway, um, we see the house, and I look through the living room into the water view, and I'm like, wow. This, this is my house. This is my house. Um, it's light and airy. It's bright. It's got big windows. Um, it, it needed very little work <laughs> in comparison, especially to our old house. So, um, we put an offer in that night. It had been on the market for five days. That was the other thing in the back of my head. It's like, what's wrong with this house? Why has it been on the market for five whole days and no single offers? Um, and they came back to us the next morning. They actually accepted our offer. They did not even counter, which I was totally shocked. Got a great washer and dryer <laughs> with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, uh, they had already moved out. They were downsizing. They had built a, a smaller home. And uh, we moved in the end of April. Uh, the only thing that had to be done right away was take out the gross carpet in the kids' bathroom and put ceramic tile in, which my husband has... Uh, a cousin that does tile work, so he did that for us for uh, a good price. Everything else, you know, that I want to do the house is cosmetic that will eventually be done um, on our time frame. It's not something that has to be done right away. So we come to closing, and the family had had it some kind of emergency. They weren't able to come. They had already signed all the paperwork. The realtor came, and I found out why the house was on the market for five whole days. I kid you not, the lockbox for the house did not work for anyone else but us. We had no issues getting it. I had no idea uh, that was going on, but it turns out that people had been trying to see the home. Um, it had not opened for them. They were having issues with it. Um, it hadn't been changed. Either walk, e either walk, People either walked away angry or when they tried to come back, for a, another another showing the next week, it was already sold to us. So this house is meant to be. This house is meant to be ours. Um, it's great. I can do a lot more work here. Um, we're getting settled um, <laughs> as fast as you can with three kids. And then we live a little further out. So I was driving four hours a day to school up until the end of May. And it was just crazy. It was ugh, terrible. And then I felt so bad having to take my youngest uh, in the car so much because I couldn't leave them with grandpa like I used to, um, that, you know, whatever video they wanted to watch, they watched. So yeah, no music for me. <laughs> it was, it was torture. I hated it, hated it. Um, but the, the kids are going to start public school here, uh, in, in August and, uh, school bus stops a couple houses down from here. Um, so we've met the neighbors. We're actually not even the new people on the street anymore. Uh, the house next to us went up for sale the week after we, uh, moved in and it sold in eight hours. Uh, we were watching the couple write the offer on their, the hood of their car while other, other two other families were going through that house <laughs> at the time. And we were like, you know, eating popcorn watching. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, and then the house across the street from us just sold within a few days as well. Um, so we're no longer the new people on the street. But yeah, I met the neighbors. They're great. Like I said, my, my neighbor over here uh, actually works for Vera Bradley. Um, I told him what I did. I told him about the videos. <laughs> told him about my collection. And uh, he was very impressed. Um, it's kind of funny because that's actually the second person we've met that works at Vera Bradley since we moved here. Um, my oldest plays hockey. And he transferred, of course, right into the Fort Wayne Hockey League here. And um, he's a little behind uh, here and um, not the greatest skaters. So we also put him in skate school. And the only other dad at this one class, um, you know, kept showing up with my husband. And my husband's friendly. And said, hey, you know, I notice our kids are on the same team. I'm so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And turns out he also works for your brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> so our first friend, a new friend that we made since we moved here, works for Vera Bradley. Uh, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, great people, lovely wife, kids. Um, really like them. And it just happened like that. And of course he knows what I do. Um, <laughs> funny um but yeah so that's that's been my craziness i've been unpacking this house um the stuff that the movers put in the in the attic i'll get to in the fall i know i'm missing a few key things in there but it's so hot <laughs> i don't want to look in there but our attic is actually walk in it's like it looks like a door to another bedroom and you open it up and there's the attic above uh the, the garage so it's amazing um I'll show you my bedroom and my daughter's bedroom here in another video. I'll do a bedding video that I had promised uh, that I would do. Um, especially since now that I've been able to use it some, kind of find out it's uh, good and bad points. Um, so we're going to do a lot more uh, fun things here uh, now that I'm back in civilization in uh, Fort Wayne. Um, you know, Vera Bradley's easier to come by, like in garage sales. When I first lived in Fort Wayne, um, it was very hard to find. It was very high price at garage sales. Now, prices generally come down. Some people still think they can get prices from 10 years ago. No, that's not the case. Um, so I've been able to find some stuff. So I'll show you some new-to-me stuff. Uh, not necessarily brand, brand new stuff. But we'll, we'll show you those. I'll show you those. Um, if you have any suggestions, please um, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Um, also, we're going to pretty up this background a little bit. My father-in-law is a handyman, and we've been kind of bouncing off ideas what to do with this uh, area. I'm not necessarily painting the walls, but maybe like a, a backdrop that I could put in there. Um, maybe with some Christmas lights or something. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave those in the comments below. Um, definitely missed you guys. Uh, it's It's been su such a crazy last six months that... It's now starting to calm down. Um, unfortunately, my husband's grandmother did pass away uh, in May, right after her 92nd birthday. Um, she went peacefully. You know, there was no major complications. She was, it was her time. Um, we understood that. But we were glad that when we moved back, we got to spend time with her, especially my husband and my kids. Uh, got to spend time with her before things really went downhill. Um... So that was uh, a blessing, definitely. But, um, so, since she's passed away, my mother-in-law's helping now with, uh, with my kids a couple days a week. It's amazing having <laughs> Stacy time, like, now to shoot videos, um, and, and work on other stuff, and, you know, it's just like, ha! Ah, it's, it's not constant bombardment for my children. I love them dearly, but three children. Love them dearly. <laughs> I love my in-laws dearly for um, for taking them a couple days a week for me and having a blast with them. Uh, my family's about four hours away, and uh, so we see them about every six weeks or so. So that's also nice too because my uh, I have nieces, you know, little nieces now that we'll get to know their cousins and um, get to know me and my husband. So. Um, of course, I've shot those videos of my sister's collection and my mom's collection to my grandmother's collection uh, that you can check out those videos as well. Um, so yeah, more videos are starting to come for me. Yay, I'm so happy to be back. I missed you guys. Um, I, honestly, there's not a day that I've, that's gone by that I haven't thought of you guys. I was going to start shooting last week. I was getting all my equipment together. My pieces too, my lighting was gone. <laughs> I have no idea where it is, so I had to hurry up and buy some stuff from Amazon Prime to get it here in time to <laughs> start shooting, have the stars align <laughs> to make this work. So, yeah, and uh, hopefully the sound is working, too, because I am in a uh, room with higher ceilings, so I think that might make a little bit of a difference, but hopefully not. Um, but, yeah. You guys, let me know what you want to see from me from videos coming up. I've, I've got, you know, obviously my stuff to show you from the outlet cell. And, um, you know, a couple more haul videos and some reviews coming up and and uh, some fun stuff. And show you what I found from estate finds and garage or estate sales and garage sales and uh, all that fun stuff. So, alright guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Amazing Shopper. Gotta get my little subscribe pillow back out. I know where it is. I know where that piece is. 
Um, but definitely subscribe uh, to the channel. I think we're um, around 1,400 now. Isn't that crazy? That is insane. We're going to have to do another giveaway too. I'll we'll have to figure something out here. And um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm also on Facebook, uh, The Amazing Shopper, Instagram, uh, The Amazing Shopper, and Twitter, Amazing underscore Shopper. Uh, so be sure to check me out uh, there. I post some pictures of my family, um, you know, some behind the scenes photos, um, whatever strikes my fancy. And of course, I love to hear from you guys on all those forms of social media. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up and I will talk to you later. Bye.